Well, yep, yeah, we're back again for another thought, another fortnight. Not the game, just we a... are. <laughs> Here we are. We're Here actually, we are. yeah. Well, this is this is on time. <laughs> this is scheduled. Well, this is this is oh, this is my fault for being overly scheduled because on day of release, I'm out of the country. Indeed, you're going to be in sunny Spain. Sunny Greece. Greece, oh, it was near enough. <laughs> yes. It's technically, it's absolutely hacking it down outside for both of us while we're actually recording. But oh, yeah. hopefully when this goes live for everybody to, to listen to, I will be <laughs> sunning it up in wonderful Greece. Indeed. And if uh, anybody can hear it in the background, I do apologise. <laughs> over the past, genuinely over the past ten seconds, it's just gone from heavy rain to almost an entire... Bucket as every raindrop falling out of the sky. <laughs> yeah, would you would you like a whole month's worth of rainfall in five minutes? Please? Exactly. The second yeah. we start recording, it got worse, and I'm fully expecting a thunderstorm any second. So that'd be fun. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and want... it will probably happen again tomorrow when we record for the other podcast that I will miss for Indeed. the holiday. That... Did I mention I'm going on holiday? And it's uh, going to be oh, really hot and sunny. Oh really? Where are you going to? Lower stoffed. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's yeah. really raining. No, z- Zakin, Zakinthos to the sun. Yes, yes, yes. Love like, it, love yeah. it, love it. Not that the viewers can see, but it looks like you've started your holiday already with that beer in your hand. Oh, yes. <laughs> nom, I, nom, nom, nom. You've got a lovely beer. I have got Morrison's apple and black currant flavoured water. Oh, I've got a Heineken. And we'll just be drinking nothing but Mythos probably all holiday. <laughs> and I can't wait. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> no. Oh well, yeah. I thought for a little bit of a difference for the beginning here, we could have a brief chat of what games we're playing in our sort of personal downtime. Ooh, yeah. Just to let everyone know the kind of personal downtime. Apparently, when we're not editing or working, (laughs) more on that later. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Spoilers. Yeah. uh, Ah. Yeah. Well, Well, well. After you. As you brought it up, care to go first? (laughs) Yeah. Um. Well. I'm currently playing through um, Pokemon Platinum. It's okay. Yeah, it's a Generation Four game. It's mm-hmm. basically the same as like Pokemon Yellow. It's following a set of two. So there was oh. yeah, there was Diamond and Pearl, and then Platinum, and I'm playing Platinum. So just because I oh, haven't for okay. ages, and it's widely renowned to be one of the better games. Hmm. What, uh, what's that on? Is that a Game Boy Advance or? That's a DS, but I'm on the 3DS with it. Oh, okay. That must have been one of the early DSs then. Indeed, it was. Yeah, I think it was like 2000. That's generation four, five? No, can't have been. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What are you You're making uh... me feel old? <laughs> Definitely. What are you playing anyway? <laughs> um. Well, I'm still mainly while I'm at work playing on. Um, the Switch, my Let's Go playthrough of just normal type Pokemon. Yeah, oh yeah, of course. Which uh, is is kind of an ongoing thing. But mainly, what I've played a little bit recently is the free trial for Fallout 76. Ah, okay. Yeah. And, hmm. <laughs> it's... Do you want to give I us mean, an unofficial review? Well... Uh, Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I I don't really know what to say about it apart from it, it's, it's okay. not as it's not as bad as people are saying it is. Although it's definitely not worth the price of a proper triple A game, which is probably where most people have taken offence with it. Right, but okay. yeah, it it definitely feels like it's missing something like people and just life. Oh, okay. Because it's, it's got no NPCs in it. All the people in there, at least at the moment, until they actually release the expansion that's coming later in the year that should have been out last year when they released it. But they did. Um, yeah, at the moment, all the people are actual people. So, obviously, if you're on a server where not many people are playing at the moment, especially now when people have got annoyed with it, it does feel kind of dead and empty. Yeah. But I mean, it plays. It's basically Fallout Four, but with in a different map. Oh. 
Doesn't sound really? Like so, I I would say if you could find it for at maximum fifteen pounds, and you quite like what Fallout is, then it's worth getting. And I will probably, when I get back from my holiday, not sure if I mentioned the fact that I am going on holiday. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to stop now before that gets irritating. Um, <laughs> Yeah, when I get back, I will try and hunt it down for 10 to £15. Pounds. But on the PlayStation Store, it's half price for only £30. Pounds. Do not buy it for that much. That's half price? That's half price, yes. So the half price is double what you think the full price should be. <laughs> yeah, it's it's essentially... What they could have done is released all of this as a kind of big DLC pack for Fallout 4. Right, OK. Because it... It's exactly the same. But instead all they've done is made a new map and charged you 60 quid. Basically, yeah. Oh, Fallout great. 76 is to Fallout 4 what Metal Gear Survive was to Metal Gear Solid 5. But at least when Metal Gear Survive came out, it was 20 quid brand new. Right, okay. But this was like 60, 70 quid brand new with load of naff in it. <laughs> So for anyone that hasn't played Fallout before, you'd say just buy Fallout 4. Oh yeah, because you can get the collectors, like all the everything, all DLC, Game of the Year edition, whatever it's called, for that, for about 15, 20 quid. The everything edition. Yeah, yeah and that comes enough. with Far Harbour as well, which is a massive expansion and a new map. Oh, fair enough. Which is quite nice and sizeable. so yeah, Lovely. that's what I'd be playing. Sounds like you've been enjoying it. <laughs> Well, yeah, I would have enjoyed it more if I'd have worked out that the trial would started last Monday and I didn't work that out until halfway through the week, but that's my problem. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Needless to say, the trial is now finished, so sorry to anyone who thinks, oh, I'll get the trial and try it. It's already finished. Not a recommendation, just a, a moan about something. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. But that's what I've sort of played the most recently anyway. Yeah. Well, it sounds. I was gonna say sounds all right, but it sounds like you played a game. <laughs> yeah, I. It was. It was very all right. <laughs> it. <laughs> yes. And in between playing that game, of course, you have been creating content for us all. Well, the, yes, this is it. This you've got me back on the holiday conversation, haven't you? <laughs> I said I wasn't going to say anything. No, but... well, you mentioned holiday. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. No, but that's why I've been creating so much content. Basically, for all you lovely four people that watch my videos, thanks to all four of you, um, I basically I didn't want to just disappear off the face of the earth for two weeks, so there will still be videos on a Tuesday and a Thursday and a Sunday for the whole time that I'm away, including, obviously, this podcast and the one that will be going up in a couple of weeks' time. Thank you to your good self for agreeing to my terms. <laughs> right. I have a... Uh, um, yeah, tune in for two weeks' time because I've got a lovely downbeat topic. It's great. Oh, lovely. Can't wait. So I hope you've got an upbeat topic. <laughs> uh, I... Yes. I'm going to say yes. Cool. Good. That's that done. I haven't actually got a topic yet, but yes, <laughs> I will have by the time we record it. Yeah. Well, so, well I won't yeah, give anything it, away. It's, 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 it's been... downbeat, but me saying why it shouldn't be downbeat. There you go. That'll do. That'll do. Oh, okay. What well, the whole rest of the world sees is a downbeat and you don't. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. That, that kind of sounds like my Hidden Gems Metal Gear Survive video. Oh, okay. Please check that out on my channel if you haven't already. Shameless plug, shameless plug. Shameless plug, who cares? <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been... I've done another hidden gem. I've done um, just a kind of general discussion video. Another one pound wonder. I've done one of my wrestling storyline booking videos. Um, there's some gameplay in there as well. Um, yeah, there's there's all the things that people have, have kind of come to know and some people have watched. Again, thank you for people. Um, yeah, just to kind of make sure that, that stuff is still happening. Lovely. And I'm not be disappearing good, off the face of the earth. No, oh, just, well, I just hope agree. so. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I ho I hope so. Um, but yeah, last Thursday, I was thankfully off work and literally from waking up um, and saying goodbye to my better half, Karina, who you may have seen on the channel if you've seen our Tied Together demo gameplay. Another shameless plug. Fully recommend. <laughs> <laughs> um, would fully recommend getting the game as well. I need to buy that actually. That's yeah, that did look good. If if there's it loads is, is more levels to it, game. that looks incredible and so much fun. Well, yeah, I, th I think there's dozens and dozens and dozens, and would so love to get you and Tash involved with that with four player. Oh, we because would be it would just be swearing absolute at each other as well. Bedlam. Oh yeah, it would be complete and total bedlam because it was bad enough with the two of us. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I saw her off to her wonderful Spice Girls gig last Thursday. Ah, okay. And uh, she had a time, and I spent literally the whole rest of the day recording, uh, editing, writing, uploading. It. I was knackered. Oh, I can imagine. That sounds quite, <laughs> quite tiring. Quite frankly, yeah, yeah. And halfway through the day, she phoned me just to see how I was getting on. And my words to her was, what part of my brain thought this was a good idea? <laughs> and what part of your brain did think it was a good idea? Well, now it's done, it was a perfect idea. But, yeah, halfway through the day, it was the worst idea I'd ever come up with in my entire life. <laughs> but you're... It, it... It all worked out. Everything's done for the holiday, or will be. Everything or... is, everything is done. Yes. Is uh, done. At time of you all listening, yeah. At time of listening to this, it's all done. Yeah. All, all I've got is, obviously, podcasts need editing. Yeah. Um, but there's one simple. video. Yeah, that's that's quite nice and easy to to splice together. To yeah. be honest, but there's one there's one video in my stomping grounds. Time to kick ass and take names because that's a cool name for a WWE show. Um, my predictions for that has not long been recorded. Okay. So that needs to be edited, but that's a fairly easy one. Fair enough. Oh, take a breath. <laughs> <laughs> All under control, though. Yes, all under control. Perfect. All done and diddled. And by the time I come back, it'll be back to business as usual. Perfect. I'm sort of the other way round at the moment. Oh, no. I've, well, no, yeah, sort of. I've filmed enough. Um, oh, OK. Yeah, day of recording and master trainer videos are out. They are with you all. They are. I recommend yep. Grimer and Muck. Um, if anyone's familiar with the Master Trainer series, they know that the first battles I do are usually fairly straightforward. However, with Grimer, he was an absolute swear word. <laughs> Grimer, was, yeah. beep. was Grimer worse than Muck? Yeah, and I have no idea why. If Muck had Grimer's move set, Muck would almost be unstoppable. Well, the one I faced. Oh, it, wow. I don't know why they did it the other way round. But yeah, no spoilers. Yeah. But yeah, I'd recommend that to people. So yeah, <laughs> I've I've never had a fun time facing Mucks or Grimers anyway. No. They always seem to be massively resistant to everything. Yeah. Well, this Grimer had a very good move set that I might actually copy. <laughs> <laughs> Fair yeah. play. I'm I'm more of a fan of the right. Does this move do lots of damage? Good ad. However, mm. this Grimer mm. had more tactical moves, and it was working. Ah. It got a little bit of luck, but also it had tactical moves that were working, and I just disliked it. But either what, way, yeah. sort of things to to buff itself and and to yeah. hinder your. Uh, it but okay. yeah, it without physically taking damage, it both improved its own stature and made me really small. If that makes sense. Oh. And then started to attack me. I was like, oh, for Christ. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, you know, <laughs> if you're curious about that, go watch the video. I recommend it. It's, it was a fun one. Um, but yeah, that's <laughs> that's out today. Slash that was out Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I'm going to yes. be having this out on the Sunday. And uh, today I've started editing for uh, my list video, a first list video in a while, actually. Uh so that'll be out Tuesday, a top five Kanto Pokemon, start of a series. 
Shall oh, we go okay. through the regions? Oh, what? Top five for each region? Yeah. So we'll obviously okay. start with Gen 1 and Kanto, and obviously the one people are more interested in, so hopefully it'll be enough to get people into the series. Well, it's it's certainly the one that's most kind of relevant at the moment, isn't it, with uh, Let's Go happening? Exactly. So that should... old people like me only knowing Gen 1. Yes. <laughs> so that should be coming out next Tuesday. Care to give us one spoiler of what might be on that list? Uh, or not? One spoiler. Not necessarily the top one, or no. maybe a surprising one that isn't on that list? Um... A surprise one not on the list, probably Charizard. Oh, yeah. okay. Who when I mm. when I watched thirty six top ten Pokemon videos, Charizard came out on top with the most votes, yes. as I'm gonna call it. However, yeah. it does not feature in my top five. Oh, not according to Pokepidge, Charizard is not top five. Mm, no. Okay. But there is That is a yeah. shock, to be honest. But yeah, there is a there is a there is a haunting inclusion. Put it that way. Mm. Yeah, a haunting inclusion. That's that'll be a clue. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so there's that Tuesday, and then hopefully Thursday, possibly Friday, dependent on work, which we'll get to. Uh, yeah. Will then be a sort of fun, easygoing video of forty-eight Pokemon that I've invented out of a hundred, because some of the newer Pokemon are fairly similar to ones I've invented. I can't draw, and I have not drawn them. However, mm -hmm. <laughs> I will just briefly say like, what their name is, what animal they're based off of, and if they have any signature moves or abilities or anything, briefly go through them. And there's 48 of them, and that's... Wow, that <laughs> sounds like a lot of... Wow. Yeah, that'll be a lot of editing. <laughs> However, the video probably won't be overly yeah. long. <laughs> Some yeah. descriptions are only about five seconds long, so it's not too bad. But either way, it's still 48 yeah. descriptions. Ouch. And then cool. another 52 <laughs> in the next one, next part. Well, so that's what they're planned for next week. Nice, free, quick and easy then. Exactly. And Furrow <laughs> Region Part 2 is on the way. Yes, I can't wait. Yeah. That is definitely what I am most... Not to, like, completely cack all over other videos yeah. <laughs> that you do but that is definitely like the most hyped anticipated one that I've been waiting for for ages indeed well the um, the cover photo to my Facebook um, group of Pokey Pidge is the castle I made for it but I Ooh. haven't shown anyone yet so you'll see that mm -hmm. that will be coming I might as well segue I into the segment I was going to talk about in today's podcast which is upcoming projects and why I have not got much time to do things I want to do. So I'm just going to... I'll just start. I'm just going to talk about things I want to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so there's that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to carry on with my Let's Go series so far, like the playthrough of Let's Go Eevee. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start using the party that you chose for me, obviously. Well, yes, it's it's quite small at the moment, though, isn't it? Because they're not all available yet. Yeah, not yet. However, in the next part, I think I can get... Uh, Magikarp and Gyarados. Well, not Gyarados, that'd be stupid. But um, Magikarp <laughs> at least. And I think you gave me a Charizard, didn't you? Uh, I believe so, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, collecting the Charmander. Yeah. But you should have I... enough Pokemon already for that, I would have thought. Yeah. But I may have a trick up my sleeve for that. Ooh. So, okay. yeah, do watch and find out. There's that. Yes. In There's, yeah. There's a lot of ideas going around in my head at the moment, so um, strap in, everyone. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I've also, a while back now, a good six months ago, I found a way to edit a video so that I could be in the shot twice, if that makes sense. So I could film yeah. myself on the left-hand side of a screen in one set of clothes and film myself on the right-hand side of the screen in another set of clothes. And found, yeah. and found a way to split the clip down the middle and show one half on one and one on the other. Presumably on a plain background. Yeah. Or Although, when I was just experimenting and having fun, I did it with sunlight, so obviously by the time I'd done the second half, it was slightly different lighting. Of course, yes. However, yes, I'm going to try and 
better that and you use can. it for a, a sketch I'm writing actually. Mm. I won't, I won't, I'm not going to say what the sketch is even about, but um, there is a sketch coming which I'm hoping is going to be one of the better videos I've ever done. Not in terms okay. of quality, but in terms of the amount of effort I'd be putting in and the editing I'd be going for. You know, the the real proper effort I'd be putting in. Hopefully, we'll yeah, prevail. as a kind of specialist bespoke type video. Yes, definitely. Because it will take a very long time to make. Like even if if I filmed it tomorrow, it probably wouldn't be ready until oh at least a month after. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's. Fair enough. That's coming. Script being written. Nice. It's much more difficult to be funny than I thought. Really? Says, yeah. says the person who's done stand-up comedy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I thought I didn't think it'd be easy. I just thought, <laughs> oh, hopefully it's a subject I'm passionate about, because it will be about Pokemon. Yeah. It's a subject I'm passionate about, and it's a genre I've dabbled in before. Oh, hang on, I can't think of anything. But no, I've I've got a I've got a crux of the the sketch now. So oh, watch okay. this space on that one. That will be coming. Mm-hmm. Obviously, more master trainer videos. The next yes. set, I will happily tell people the next set. I said in one of my videos today, I think it's a fighting type set. Next, it isn't. I completely got it wrong. <laughs> it's <laughs> a, it's an electric type set coming next. So the next three are the. Pikachu line, Voltorb line, and Magnemite line. Oh, okay. So they are on the way. Cool. When I've caught an appropriate Voltorb. So we shall see with that one. Mm-hmm. Um, shot and I've asked you about this before. I asked you if you found a sh- a quick shiny hunting guide to be helpful. To let's go. Yeah, I'm. I'm not very good with the whole shiny. I don't really know what I'm doing with it, to be honest. Yeah. So I've kind of veered away from it purely yeah. because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> nope, that's fair enough. Well, I'm going to be uh, doing a video about that, how to shiny hunt in Let's Go. It will give oh, a okay. brief explanation of what can happen if you train catch. Because, it, yeah, it's, it's going to be... It's going to tell you about IVs, tell you about base stats, how they all line up, how it's relevant to shiny hunting and everything. And it's it sounds like a lot at the moment, but and I thought that <laughs> I for, <laughs> for years I did not even think about IVs and all of this, and I just thought, oh, that sounds too complicated. I'm fine with what I'm doing. And then I looked into it. I was like, oh, that seems fairly simple. Yeah, uh, so right. it's one of those things. Once you're told some, once you're told about it, and you kind of understand the process of it, yeah, it's fairly simple process to then duplicate and follow yourself. Yeah, Pokemon stats are actually fairly easy. Mm. You've got base stats, which is how a Pokemon grows. So, like, so for example, I don't know, a Snorlax might have a higher attack base stat than defense. So. As it yeah. grows, its attack's going to be higher than defense. This is just an example. This doesn't necessarily mean yeah. definite. And then you get IVs. So each stat for, has a value of 0 to 31 picked at random. Every Pokemon picked at random. So like three Snorlax could be completely separate IVs to each other. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. And they affect how quickly those stats grow. So say a Snorlax got a high base attack stat. And it's also got a 31 mm. IV attack stat. <laughs> it means its attack's going to be almost the highest it can possibly be. So a level 60 Snorlax versus another one that's level 60 with a lower IV yeah. stat will have, like the, 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 the other one will have a higher strength stat anyway just because it's grown quicker. Exactly right. Got ya. Yeah, but I'll go into that in more detail in another video. I feel like I'm segueing myself here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll go into that and then obviously how... Because in a sentence, the higher your chain, the more likely you are to get better stats and shiny Pokemon. That's basically it. However, right. I'll go into the specifics of the numbers. Because, like, yeah. you know, 0 to 10 is nothing really. 11 to 20, you can get, like, you know, two perfect base stats at least. Yeah, that sort of thing. 
Oh, okay, so it's worth your while, yeah, chaining up to a much higher number because it gives you this better... Exactly. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So, in the end, if you get to the highest um, possible chain thing where it means you'll get at least four perfect IVs for a Pokemon, your highest chance of a shiny... So also, if a shiny appears, there's a full chance that you could get a perfect IV shiny Pokemon. It's great. Oh, nice. But anyway, that's a video I'll do. <laughs> wow. But as you can that, tell, yeah. very complicated, so I will need to script that quite heavily. And I feel like I'm going to need a notepad watching it. Yeah, I will hope it will be helpful for people. <laughs> yeah, uh, so there's that. I can't remember, any, oh, I can't remember the others now. Christ. <laughs> But yeah, there's them. And uh, yeah, it, this would all be great if we didn't have to work. <laughs> yeah, stupid jobs. Stupid jobs. I mean, my job's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. I just would well, rather... Yeah, there, there are... I didn't have a job and I could do videos forever. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all right for what they are, but they essentially just pay bills so that we don't get evicted or starved to death. Yeah, I like food and, a sh you know, a roof over my head. Yeah, and that's basically all the, the, the job done. But I I, th I think it's just the, the issue I have with, with work in this country as a thing is you spend a good three quarters of your life, especially your adult life, spending, again, about three quarters if not longer of your waking day yeah. at work very much so yeah it's just ah uh, and then you retire at the kind of end of your life you don't even get to retire like when you're fit and healthy and <laughs> in peak kind of condition no you get to retire when your body's already knackered and falling apart and you can't do anything <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly yeah See, I, I think it's the same for basically you. Basically, for... because... Go on, sorry. Yeah, well, yeah, basically, the only reason then you end up retiring is because you can't work anymore. <laughs> exactly. So you have no choice anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's the same for you for your travel as well, because it takes you a while to get to work. But for me personally, yes. I'm out of the house for around 12 hours a day, from give or take 15 minutes, 7-ish to 7-ish every day. Mm, yeah. yeah yeah half six till quarter to seven yeah yeah it's pretty much exactly the same for me i think, I think it's quarter every to seven every single day yeah. of the week exactly. week in week out <laughs> exactly it would be great if we worked down the road and did nine till five yeah because we would have more time in the evening and we could get up later in the morning so we would have even more time in the evening Exactly. Or I just blame the fact that we don't have about 200,000 subscribers each. Exactly. However, Basically, if any of you want to recommend it's, people... <laughs> yeah. It's, it's everybody's fault who hasn't subscribed to our channels. It's, it's their problem. It is, actually. It's, it's all yeah. there. It's the public. It's, it's your fault. Actually, it's not your fault you've subscribed and listened. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's yeah. the other it's, people it's not the other listening people. that we can't offend. Because <laughs> they're not listening. <laughs> No, and we need them to subscribe, so we don't want to offend them no, anyway. No, you're, you're, you're all welcome. Mm. Very much welcome. Uh, more than welcome. You lovely, please. lovely people. Yeah, it's it would be great to have more subscribers. Oh, that'd be good. I've tried a fair bit. I've tried printing out business cards, giving them to people in at Comic-Con. You know, me and my other half, we were basically giving out as many as we could to people yeah. dressed in Pokemon gear. Views have not gone up since, and literally zero subscribers have had like joined the channel. Yeah. So that did yeah. nothing. Uh, I've been posting more on Pokemon forums, Pokemon Go forums, you know, everything I can. However, still hasn't really got anywhere. Like I said in the last one, um, trainer trailer analysis seems to get a little bit more than normal, but I think that's because. So many people on the internet are just going to YouTube typing in, you know, Pokemon trailer analysis. You know, so it's you're going to get the odd person who will watch about a hundred trailer analysis videos and get to yours on the list. You know, eventually. Yeah. 
But then they'll watch nothing else. Yeah. They won't go, oh, I really like that YouTuber. What else have they done? They'll exactly. go, okay, let's watch the next trailer analysis video. Yeah, and then they'll be like, then, oh, he's talking about yeah. his favourite scores in Pokemon games. Not bothered. Yeah. Not yeah. going to Disappear into the ether. Yeah. So it's, you know, I've, like I say, I'm trying to post more on Pokemon forums, that sort of thing, and it's, it's very difficult. I've been commenting mm. on... Pokétubers um, Twitter accounts like famous ones or well known ones and people who reply you know like if I say something like oh I'm so happy to see this Pokemon or I'll be, I'm going to look forward to this and if someone replies like oh me too I'll sort of leave a comment to say you know oh you have good taste yeah just something along the, I don't know that's, yeah. that's a really bad example for the conversation but I will <laughs> follow the conversation on and then check their Twitter. If they look like they follow a lot of people and they've got a lot of followers, I'll just follow them myself. But nothing, nothing back. <laughs> no. No, I, I mean, I don't do it to everyone. Like, if there's someone there who follows 30 people but has no followers, obviously they're just on Twitter to follow people they like. They're not bothered about the rest, so I'll leave them to it. I don't want to intrude. Yeah, no. no, I know what you mean, yeah. Yeah, it's more for the people who have got hundreds of followers that are fine with it. That I'm like, cool, I'll see. So I'm following more, you know, way more people than anything else. I've only got four followers. <laughs> you, someone I work see, I, with, yeah, my friend and I, I, a writer. It's good. I'm not ungrateful I thought, for them. I, I, that sounds so rude. I'm grateful for them. Yeah, I thought that you would be in a better position than me for that, to be honest, because obviously your channel is much more kind of focused. I'm a bit kind of wider net. Yeah. And sometimes you could say, oh, wider net is good because you can appeal to more people. But then if you post a lot of stuff that people aren't interested in, they kind of then start turning a deaf ear and a blind eye to stuff. Whereas on a more focused side, pretty much everything that you release to a Pokemon fan is something that's going to be of interest to them. Whereas on my side of it, I'm sure there are people that watch my gaming videos that have absolutely no interest in professional wrestling that are like, oh, I don't... What, stop posting... Like, I don't care about that. Stop posting that. Yeah. Post the gaming stuff. Yeah, I do know what you mean. I, well, to be fair, I follow people that post things like that. that like, there's someone who's... He posts Pokemon videos... And the rest of them, he mm. posts about just random things that I've never heard of. But I just think, <laughs> oh, well, I won't watch them, but I'll watch the other things still anyway. Mm. If some of them pique my interest, maybe I'll have a little look, but, you know. Yeah. I don't know, it's a tough one. It is. Did you want to segue into talking about your channel in a bit more detail, about that sort of thing, or...? <laughs> um... well, I think we were both... I d I correct me if wrong, but I think we were both on a... Similar thought path for our topics today. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty much just echoing what what you've said in terms of... To be honest, I'm grateful that um, I find as much enjoyment in doing it as I do, because yeah. otherwise it would be the most disheartening thing in the world to be spending hours and hours each week recording, writing, editing, kind of putting together bits and pieces that you kind of feel quite passionate about and yeah. putting them out there and not even getting kind of just loads of people watching it and being really negative about it and going, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, this is a load of rubbish, you're awful in front of camera, <laughs> your research is really naff, or you edit videos really badly, you oh. can't play that game that you're trying to play. You don't even get that. It's, I, it's I thought literally I deleted like... that comment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can you continue? <laughs> but like, at least that would show people trying to engage with it. Granted, it would a lot of the time be trolls or whatever, yeah. just out to be a bit of a knob. But to like spend hours and hours and hours on something and then you put it out there and it gets like two views yeah and you're like oh see some of I my mean, master trainer ones only get about one or two views but that i'm fine with that mainly that's mainly because i'm releasing three every fortnight and i only really publicize one because i don't want to throw three videos a day into people's faces well yeah so the other the two kind of i only get that, a couple and i'm not that bothered it's yeah, just that, that i genuinely just want to complete the entire set <laughs> Well, yeah, because otherwise you'll be there until Doomsday doing one a week. Oh, I think we you? figured or it out. It was June 2021, wasn't it? 
something like that, <laughs> and that's why you then decided to go. Well, I'm going to do three then. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Continue. <laughs> I mean, uh, what I will, uh, what I will say, and what is actually quite nice is, virtually, every single video that I put out, I will nigh on guarantee I will always get some kind of comment and engagement by um, one of my subscribers um, I'm probably going to butcher this name it's written down L-I-T-O M-I-T-O Lito Mito or Lito Mito okay. I'm not sure how that's supposed to be said so I apologise for however that is said well if he's listening that could be it. their comment for this video <laughs> give yeah. us a phonetic spelling that would be great yeah um, but that is quite not like often I'll wake up in the morning and where I put stuff up British time of like half five in the evening presumably whenever they're able to watch it is halfway through the night here right okay so often I will wake up and one of the first things I do because I'm a millennial and that's what we all do and I hate the word millennial oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, is I will look at my phone while I'm sort of waking up. And very often, on the day after a video is posted, there will be a comment from that subscriber. I don't even know their gender. Oh, OK. Could be a guy, could be a woman, I'm not sure, because their photo is um, kind of a red controller with a black bit of background, so there's absolutely no way of knowing gender by that. Oh, OK. Um, so... Hello, sir or madam. Um, <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's quite nice to get that kind of like engagement from them and that kind of um, like you, you know that at least someone is supporting you, I guess. Yeah. So at the moment, it almost feels like I'm making videos specifically just for them and myself. <laughs> and if that's the case, then fine. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I yeah, I do think there's going to be a time where one of us will finally not. I'm not going to say we're going to get loads, but after a while, we'll finally get a good double-figure number that we'll be happy with. Just a not, you know, at least I do think that will happen eventually. The more you grind at it, you know. Yeah, I, it's one of those where I like in college I liked to write and record songs in our recording studio shed and then at um, university I did script writing and then in my early to mid to late twenties thing I did, <laughs> I did the stand up stuff and it was all fun however I like to think that I've put the most effort and got the most enjoyment from making videos mm. and yeah people always do say if you literally just keep grinding away at things it will eventually go through so I'm just going to keep doing that because I actually genuinely do quite enjoy this yeah you know. I know what you mean and there were probably about a year or so ago there were some videos that I was getting close to sort of a hundred views or potentially even over a hundred views on and then it just sort of petered down yeah. and down and then there's kind of leveled off and I mean, anyone that doesn't know, I've spent a lot of time over the last few years doing plays and musicals. Oh, yes, of course. Um, for, of, for, of, a, of an acting persuasion. It might not always appear like that on camera. Um, in, in fact, actually, I did start recording a kind of mini film for a friend um, that he'd written and he was kind of filming and directing. And I actually found being in front of a camera a lot weirder and a lot more awkward than being in front of an audience of like 200 people. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's the kind of coldness of a camera, I think. Um, so, yeah, and what I've kind of done in my personal life is kind of put that well on the back burner yeah. because of trying to do as much with this as I can and have the time with it because obviously it's not just the performances it's the rehearsal time for three months four months five months however long it is and that takes up a good chunk of my week oh, yeah. so I've intentionally kind of veered away from that in order to focus as much time on this as I can bring out the violins everyone <laughs> um, yeah so 
Yeah, I although I am grateful for any feedback, any view, any anything that I get. It's just I guess it is a little bit disheartening, shall we say, without wanting to moan or <laughs> wanting to sound like a whinger in yeah. any way. Yeah, no, I absolutely know what you mean. Yeah. I think the thing is I I see I've tried to watch smaller YouTube or uh, content creators recently myself and I think the the thing that really irritates me sometimes is the fact that they'll have more subscribers and more views and are often not putting out certainly not as much content and certainly n not in terms of personally anyway not as well put together videos oh, yeah. They've literally just recorded themselves on their phone. Yeah, I do. No know editing what you mean. has gone into it at all. The thumbnail is literally like five minutes into the video of them halfway through a word. And they've been doing it for all of about six months and they've got like three, four hundred subscribers and they get well over a hundred views each video. And you're like, uh right, okay. Could all of those people at least try watching my stuff? Yeah. And if you think it's crap, fine. Tell me it's crap. But there's no funneling. I don't know whether that's just YouTube algorithms or whatever. Yeah, it's... I never that's the thing that. that's really irritating for me on a personal level. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. No, I Far be it from me to criticise others when... I'm hoping for support myself, obviously. However, <laughs> and obviously not saying that mine deserve it or I think they're great or whatever, but I will also watch other, like, you know, Pokemon YouTubers who are at the beginner level, shall we say, and, like, they'll be getting 100-odd views for a video, and it's, you know, they'll just be talking on the camera, and you won't be able to see me now, but I'll do it for, I'll do it for you here, and, you know, so that their shot will be like this. And you'll oh, right, just be corner. talking, yeah. you know, or like, you know, yeah. like if you've, for the older viewers here, if you've ever seen Acorn Antiques on, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Victoria oh, Woods' lovely wow. sketches of that, you know, that sort of thing, that, that level of... Very good musical, Yeah, <laughs> just to bring it back to musicals. Yeah, so that, that sort of thing, and the picture, and, you know, if they talk about a picture, it will just be, you know, out of scale, you know, and you watch it and you think, yeah, your um, content is what... I talk about and, what, and I like what you're talking about but your execution you sort of think yeah. I've put way more effort in than you have <laughs> yeah you've, you, you've set yourself up in a dark room yeah. with no microphone and the picture's all blurry and horrible you've got no pictures on there you've, you've got no reference for what you're talking about it's literally you staring at your phone for ten minutes yeah you can't Probably really hear it properly. <laughs> yeah, you can't hear it properly. You can't really see anything. There's no real kind of engagement yeah. because, again, it's the early stage. It's trying to perform to a camera, which is, I will say, is one of the most difficult things I've ever done from an acting perspective, yeah. from a performance side of things. Being in front of a camera is so much harder than being in front of an audience. It really is. So, I'm, um, yeah, as you say, I'm not going to kind of slate people for, for that, but as you say, literally recording something for 10 minutes on your phone and then uploading it straight away to YouTube. Yeah. And it's then you get, like, yeah, two, 300 views, and it's like, really? Yeah. I mean, it's not going <laughs> to stop me making videos. It just frustrates me sometimes when... Because, like I say, I've put the more effort into this than anything else I've done on a personal hobby front so that's mm. just what frustrates me most when I watch something of the similar level as me and then sh you know you know they just haven't put any effort in and they just say something and put it on and they're, they're getting 10 times as many views and you think oh but I'm trying so hard <laughs> what did yeah. you do what how did you do it to get to that you know on a constant level as well not just like a one-off yeah oh it's just frustrating yeah, as I say, I've had it on a on a uh, where they've spiked. Yeah. But that was a year ago. Yeah. <laughs> and my subscriber rate hasn't plummeted since then. If anything, it's gone up a bit. 
but yeah. the view count has actually gone down, which doesn't work. It doesn't correlate, or it shouldn't correlate. Yeah, it's one of those where the viewer the viewer number can also can always be high or low, but the subscription the subscriber number will always go up. Hopefully, <laughs> well, for people yeah. not leaving. I don't even know how many subscribers I've got at the moment. Christ knows. I can tell you because I've got my phone with me. Oh, okay. <laughs> go for uh, it. Let's see. Sorry, I will go. Da, 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 da. Where is he? <laughs> Where is he? There he is. Ah, here we go. He has got twenty-eight at the exact moment. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay. Which is then against my da, 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 thirty-six. Okay then. That's was sort of similar numbers then. Yeah, it seems like exactly. we're similar subscriber numbers, similar view numbers as well. Yeah, and we're both trying to. I mean, to be honest, if I'm being completely objective here, I would say you edit videos a hell of a lot better than I do. <laughs> I think you're better at putting them. They look visually nicer most of the time oh, than right. most okay. of mine do. Oh well, thank um, you. Your setup behind you is nicer as well in the way that you've got your room laid out and the lighting that you've got and oh, yeah. in that terms. I believe and... I've I believe I've inherited some space. So I'll thank dear mother for that one. <laughs> yeah, and it actually quite helps that I've got a dimmer switch in this room as well. <laughs> so if something looks too <laughs> oh, bright, I just reach across to the switch and be like, mm-hmm. "Yep, that's better." Uh, <laughs> it's almost like I've, I've got learned... a light lighting rig in the room. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's quite. One helpful. thing I've learned is it can't be too light. Yeah, camera Whereas, yeah. steals light so much. It's better to have that than what I was using in my other room, which was literally two pieces of A4 sellotaped together, folded over the light, so the shadow of the white paper would be just enough of a light on my head. Oh, okay. Genuinely yeah. true. That was what Each was happening. Each to their own. I love how we yeah all done that kind of. Yeah. diverting light and bouncing <laughs> it off stuff to rather than yeah you well, you could buy this light for like. Th- Three hundred pounds. Like, well, I could do, but I've got two subscribers, so yeah. I think I'll, I'll just set up a load of lamps and bounce light around the room as much as I can with bits of paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I think similarly on that front, if we get, you know, um, I think your videos are, are very thought out, though. That's the only thing. I think they're very like the, you do your research. <laughs> going back to not having time I sometimes don't have time for research so I can only ever do really opinions or gameplay hence why the trailer analysis the lists the oh, master training series I the only ones I really put the research into are the get fact which I haven't done for a while because the viewership of those wasn't very high ah uh, yes and I can appreciate that yeah you've got to put so much outside time yeah it might go oh well, it's only a eight minute video or whatever yeah. well it's only eight minute but you're like yeah you've got to work out where you're getting all that data from exactly corroborating it yeah Actually, to be yeah. honest in in terms of research that's why i try as much as possible to talk about something that's already in my brain so i haven't uh, yeah. got to do too much <laughs> Um, research outside of what is already in there. Yeah. Because it's there. You just root around the head for a bit. <laughs> it's Yeah, it's, it's kind of cheating, I guess. But yeah. it's like, well, it's a topic that I'm fairly well versed in. So I'll just kind of do a bit of a dusting around the edges. So it doesn't take, as you say, like with the get fact thing, ages to yeah. cobble together loads of data. Because believe it or not, trying to find ten facts is... Difficult. <laughs> yeah. Apart from the obvious, did you know Pokemon is Pocket and Monsters? I was like, oh, for God's sake. Is it? <laughs> God, leave me alone. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. I've, I think I've done... Um, where am I, actually? How many episodes of that have I done? The last episode I did was five, so I've done... Including the glitches, uh, I've done 50 facts. And yeah. they're only going to get more and more difficult to find. <laughs> well, yes, because obviously you need to find new facts. Yes. And, and you kind of don't want to find that. Yeah, you don't want to find all the stuff that everybody has already talked about. Yeah, and also you don't want to find a simple fact. Like, yeah, did you know this isn't a fact? But like, did you know Pikachu was orange? But they changed their minds. You think right? Yeah. Cool. That's that one. Don't you know? You have to actually have something with yeah. substance. There's 
there's not a, yeah there's not really any guts to that is there there's no. no kind of yeah this was actually a thing but because of issues in this country legally they had to change it for this that kind of thing is has got a bit more intrigue and interest and a bit more kind of relevance to it rather than just they changed the color of a thing yeah. halfway through development because they decided it was nicer yeah which they have done on some things but yeah. oh, <laughs> but there's no there's no guts to that is there there's no no like that must no. happen with all things all the time yeah exactly yeah, and yeah. yeah, before I before we wrap up, because I'm I'm sure we could be here all night <laughs> talking about. Yeah. I could good, be. I know good that. goodbye, all four viewers. Sorry, <laughs> we lost you about twenty minutes ago. <laughs> That's all right. I've been yeah. It's been, if you if you've made it this far, have a biscuit. <laughs> yes, have a biscuit. Have many biscuits. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, the one uh, yeah one thing I say before I go is I am hopefully speaking of the amateur and I don't want to say beginner because that sounds um, what's the word patronising. It's, it's you know, entry like the more lower end level, the, yeah, starter. Like, like, yeah, started level. Like we still fall into, even though we've been doing it for a while. <laughs> we've yeah, been we're still Bulbasaur. We're waiting to evolve into Ivysaur. Exactly, but for some reason, someone keeps pressing B on us when we try. <laughs> <laughs> let me evolve. <laughs> no, nope. let me do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, um, I am hopefully going to try and find. A couple of other PokeTubers around the similar level that I'm on, and see if they want to also do a podcast. Not that's going to interfere with this one, but see if they want to do like a monthly one, and just talk about the latest news we have, if there is any. If not, talk about the news we've got anyway, and mm -hmm. hopefully increase their viewership by bringing three or four together. Like on a big Skype call, I'll figure out how it could work in another time. Good idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good idea. I like that. Yeah, and just, you know, increase their viewership with three newer people, two or three newer people, and same with me, increase mine with two or three newer people, and hopefully help each other out. Yeah. And then see if that works. And also just to be nice to other people, see if I can give them a hand. Mm. But... Yeah. yeah, I have asked Commit more that. senior members of the Pokemon community if they know of anyone, but I've had no responses yet. So, fingers crossed, I'll get some sort of response. I'm sure they're busy people. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see. I didn't expect replies anyway, so I don't know. Sounds, <laughs> well, gonna... sounds like a very, very good idea. Yeah. I'll, and I'll give it a, go. a logical idea from kind of a selfish point of view, but also from a a development content point of view and to create those kind of interesting discussions. Exactly. Because I'd love to hear with, what other people have got to, got to yeah, see. Yeah, with, with an expert that actually knows what you're talking about because half of the stuff that obviously you have to cover goes completely over my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I try my best. <laughs> yeah. Well, as I'm sure it does with you whenever I mention um, the squared circle, you yes. go, what? Yeah. I do my best to keep up. Yeah. I mean, when you were talking okay. about um, Ronda Rousey, etc. Yeah. I genuinely had a notepad with me, so that was... <laughs> <laughs> I think Bless I'm right you. in saying that Ronda Rousey has a Pokemon tattoo, actually. Really? Yeah, I'm going to subtly Google that as I talk about it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I read up on the fact that she has some form of Pokemon affiliation, I think, tattoo... So I am going to look right now as I keep talking, and that will be fine. <laughs> I've already been typing while you were talking. On a, uh, uh, she's that something to do with a Pokemon Stadium 2 forum. There's a picture here uh, of her with a Dragonair card. Here's proof that Ronda Rousey is any... queen of the nerds. Well, that's I a bit too can't, far. <laughs> I can't see any Pokemon-related ones. No, well... I'm no, sure she had... Okay, I'll, it doesn't, I'll, yeah. Yeah. I'll show you the picture I've got anyway. But it, anyone at home, if you just Google Ronda Rousey um, Pokemon, then you'll see. I can't really see what it is. Oh, oh Drake, yeah. Oh, Dragon okay. Yeah. Basically her the Pokemon card. But I'm yeah. sure she had a tattoo. I'm sure she did. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I don't uh, I can't. I can't see anything obvious, and then you click on that, and it's loads of people that have tattoos of Ronda Rousey, which then just <laughs> muddies the water. So that's not going to work. 
Oh, she dressed oh, up well. as a Pikachu once and did a video. Oh, okay. Fair enough. That might be worth looking at. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay. Anyway, yeah, well, that's, that's I, me done. We've ranted a lot. We have ranted a lot. I think this has been the most open podcast we've done. We've um, yeah. stepped back I from that British guy in Pokey Pidge and started to speak as ourselves a little bit more today, I think. Indeed. And I think my camera is about to die, so I'm going to say goodbye now <laughs> yes. before okay, the then. memory card gets filled up. Fair enough. Yes, well, goodbye, everyone. Thanks for listening. Tune in in two weeks' time when Ed is still drinking beer in Greece. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Yes, and I'll drink water in... Essex. Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.